Okay, so we're here at um, Lockie Singh's place, just south of Alawuna, and um, we're at a spot where we've got a piezometer here because we found we've got a very shallow water table here. And uh, even though we're in, um, you know, 300 mil annual rainfall, though you haven't seen that for a while, have you? No. Uh, like the last three years have been, you know, a little more like 100 mils, 120, 130, 150. But, um, but still we're at a spot here, there's a big sand hill, we're just on the flat. This area here um, has started to grow really, really good crops because it's getting in touch with this water table that's only down at 80 centimetres here. And as you can see, plenty of water. And this is really the beginning of a seep problem. Um, but it's with what we're trying to do here is deal with the seep before it becomes a problem. So, um, so I'll just hand over to Lockie now. And what have you seen in terms of seep scolds and seeps becoming a problem on your property? Uh, well, on our farm, we've always there's been one seep that's been here forever, and yeah. it was always quite small. But just since we've changed the farming practice, you know, and got rid of the skeleton weed and the onion weed, and a lot more summer spraying. Uh, we're trying to re obviously retain as much moisture as possible, yep. but on those gutless sand hills that we have here, uh, the moisture is just going through and obviously coming out here. Yeah, so I know on other parts of the, the property we've got bare scalds, we've got salt crystals on the surface. Yes. Um, so when did they start to show some of those those newer sites? Probably after 2010, 11. Yep. Because mm -hmm. both those years were over 500 mil of rain. Yep, yeah, and particularly a lot of uh, uh, non-season rainfall, the summer summer rainfall, oh, yeah. um, and certainly did bring a lot of water into the system. Yeah, um, and so what does it uh, mean to you and your farming system? Um, uh, so you've got uh, livestock as well as cropping? Yeah, we run, uh, run 1,500 ewes, self-replacing merino flock, and cropping went two-year rotation generally. Yep. Cereal then look out here is vetch this year. And yeah, so with the seeps though, it has, it's not that big an issue yet because they're only small areas, but I can see that they are getting bigger. Yep. And so if we can try and fix them before they get to a bare patch would be ideal. Yeah, because yeah, you don't want to be having to travel around everything and also losing machinery in the middle and also losing productive ground. And I guess one of the things, even though you're on a basically on a year in year out rotation, you still always control your summer weeds, don't you? Yeah. And that gives you better pastures generally. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So that certainly has contributed to um, having a lot more water coming into places like this and then uh, resulting in a problem. Yeah.